This video was brought to you by Stoneberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you guys the charting session of the BMW i4. Uh, and also recently I tested a supercharging on the Tesla Model 3 with a new LG battery with 75 kilowatt hour net capacity. Uh, from what I've Google, it's supposed to be an 82 kilowatt hour battery. So at least I branded it as the LG 82 kilowatt hour based on the, the findings. And then I will also be comparing against um, iX3 because I guess many people who have iX3 they also consider i4, so it's kind of relevant. And also EV6, yes, Kia EV, Kia EV6. And you see that most of these, okay, the numbers here is the actual net capacity I managed to pull out of the battery versus the gross capacity that the car has according to specification. So you see we have roughly 80 kilowatt hour. So this is going to be the battle of the 80 kilowatt hour battery packs. So are you guys ready to rumble? Oh, look, oh, off you go. Okay, so I heated up all the batteries uh, to uh, nice and hot temperatures and see that i4 is reaching a 200 kilowatt immediately. That is pretty impressive. It's actually charging faster than the EV6, but the Model 3 was actually going faster than 200 kilowatt for a little bit, but then it's not throttling now. So this is, uh, the, I guess, the downside of Tesla. It has a very initial jolt, but then it dropped a little bit. And then I spot iX3, it's now hitting 150 kilowatt, which is the maximum for the iX3. But then the EV6 in the middle there is going a little bit slow, but now it's suddenly the EV6 was hot enough, the battery is hot enough, then it can reach uh, this this temperature. The reason why I didn't heat it up enough is, is because if you heat it up too much, it's gonna actually going to replicate towards the end. Now the i4 is start, starting to drop a little bit. A little bit disappointing. I was hoping for the i4 to uh, to hover at 200 kilowatt a little bit longer, but I guess uh, then you don't you want to fry the battery. So let's uh, throttle a little bit there. And the Model 3 is actually going at okay speed, but I feel like the Model 3 st still needs to get a speed update because this is a fairly new battery. So as usual, what we see is that Tesla will not unleash the power yet. So we might have to wait about six months before you get the proper speed on Model 3. iX3 is starting to throttle a little bit now. It's down to 105 kilowatt. And the i4 on the other hand is, seems to be going faster than the iX3. It has a little bit bigger battery, but I feel like the i4, sorry, the i4 is charging faster than the iX3. Uh, EV6 is starting to throttle a little bit now, but it, the EV6 is in the lead. It's just amazing how fast it's pumping the kilowatt hour into the battery. And then the Model 3 is starting to throttle a little bit at 50%. It goes a little bit slow. Unfortunately, this is the, the, the weakness of Tesla. They don't have that nice and flat charging curve as the German cars. But um, all right, i4 is now down to also 105 kilowatt. It almost feels like wait, uh, the ix3 is charging fast. Okay, no, no, you see now. I so ix3 is kind of neck or neck with the i4 when it comes to charging curve, at least past uh, the 60 percent mark, 50 60 percent mark. Seems like the, the i4 only had the initial boost in the beginning, the 200 kilowatt versus the ix3 with only 150 kilowatt. And now ev4 is starting, oh, sorry, ev6 is starting to drop a little bit. Uh, it's getting close to 80 percent though. And model 3 is hanging in there, uh, surprisingly, it's hanging. In there and I have to say that even at 60% the, uh, the Model 3 is still taking uh, almost 80 kilowatts so very impressive normally um, Tesla's they tend to be kind of slow all right oh look at now okay now we have you guys were seeing before EV6 start, just goes down to zero I don't know it's overheating yet you see back, battery max temperature 52 percent as far as 52 degrees Celsius it's overheating a little bit but now it's coming okay now it's kicking back uh, I, EV6 though has a really big lead i4 is coming in but again you see the, you see that the i4 and ix3 they have very nice and flat even at around 75%, 70%, they can still take 80 kilowatt. Whereas Tesla, on the other hand, at 70% can only take 70 kilowatt. So again, uh, lagging a little bit behind the Germans here. But okay, EV6 now is about to hit 90%. So yeah, this is uh, no battle. EV6 is going to win to 90% like a boss. But however, the i4 is not that far behind. Uh, it's, well, okay, it seems like right now the i4 is going to be take the second place. But we don't know yet what's going to happen towards the end. iX3 is at 78%. Again, uh, not too far behind the, the the newer i4 so i have to say it's very impressive with the ix3 to still keep in there and then as for the model 3 it's also actually hanging in there slightly lagging behind uh, the germans but still okay okay i ev6 just hit 90 percent. we just go past 90 percent. yeah why not okay model 3 again i'm also uh, I'm impressed that even at 80 percent it takes 50 kilowatt and you see compared to ix3 it's actually neck on neck with the ix3 when it comes to flat charging curve so this is the first time i see that a tesla can kind of keep up with the germans when it comes to high state of charge many people want to go to 90% or maybe whatever and then even for the Tesla with the LG battery you can actually do that but now we can see that the i4 is about to hit 90% uh, there is no way that the other guys can hit 90% before it uh, I have to say that EV6 is actually at 96% soon wow <laughs> okay still taking okay speed even at 96% there we go i4 hit 90% so 
even 52 kilowatt at 90 percent very nice and flat charging curve i should have charged a little bit past it but okay whatever and now we, uh, ix3 is about to take the third place yes i'll wait, wait a minute but uh, model 3 is still just right behind it just two percent behind the ix3 so you see okay okay there we go there we go ix3 hit it 90 percent and the model 3 is going to take the losing uh, spot here yes uh, but still again very impressive that the model 3 can still go that f fairly flat and not that far off a german car when it comes to uh, high state of charge charging speed and then of course we just want to show off that ev6 will finish to 100 percent roughly by the time that the model 3 finishes to 90 percent <laughs> wow uh, how uh, fast will the batteries degrade uh, that's a different story but okay so what I should uh, point out here by the way is that um, um, the the i4 and the, and the Tesla those are the only cars in this comparison that will actually actively heat up the battery before you arrive at the fast charger when it comes to ix3 and and the ev6 they don't do that the e, uh, ev6 and ionic 5 will supposedly get that feature this year as for the ix3 no it doesn't do it um i've heard from a norwegian group uh, ix3 group that they, they usually get around uh, 50 to 100 kilowatt only because the battery is cold gating and also i should mention that the even the i4 when i did the yellow test i did navigate to fast charger but somehow it's still cold gated i also did 1000 kilometer challenge and even then the i4 also cold gated because what i heard is that if the i4 figures out that you will arrive uh, and with two low, below 10 percent there was something about 10 percent then it won't preheat uh from what i've seen my gut feeling based on the 1000 kilometer challenge seems to be like okay you you hammer it towards the, the to to the charger you nav you don't have to set it as um a charger in between you just set it as the final destination and will actually preheat as you guys also seen in the range test uh, but it could seem like it will only preheat and it cuts off the preheating power once you go below 10 percent state of charge and that means that for the last five ten minutes you might not get that extra preheating that you need to to get 200 kilowatt so what i saw in the 1000 kilometer challenge was that um, um i uh, for towards the end when it became colder and i didn't arrive with 10 percent then i would all only receive 150 kilowatt 100 yeah i was hovering at 150 158 kilowatt uh, and then sometimes it jolted up to 200 but sometimes it actually just stayed at 150 kilowatt throughout the sessions and, and until it started to throttle so uh, if there was a bit if there would be a small improvement here i would say that uh, the bmw people if they care about this they should at least allow uh preheating to or it should be more for sophisticated like tesla uh, they should at least allow, allow preheating down to five percent state of charge uh, uh, but also if you navigate somewhere uh, the car should know that okay we are about to enter this charger with eight percent anyway so let's just preheat it down to at least three percent or something um because for tesla the, the tesla will actually preheat uh, i've seen preheating active even at uh, two three percent because tesla knows that you're going to go to the charger it's a fast charger or a tesla supercharger and they will then preheat uh, and then you will get uh, good speed so of course by the end of the day the result i show you here uh, evs oh yeah i forgot to mention the ev6 will cold gate like a freaking boss really not like a not like a not the boss but the the, the, the ev6 cold gates like crazy same with ionic 5 people are norwegians are complaining about this that they charge slow in winter so of course uh for real world uh, challenge a real world case which car would win then maybe you guys can comment is it going to be the tesla model 3 is it going to be i4 or some of the other cars ev6 ix3 <laughs> okay i think that's gonna be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later